everyone welcome back to the channel and another vlog i thought i would pick up the camera today and bring you along with my day i have a few things that i need to do um first thing i need to pop to the hairdressers for an updated skin test because i'm finally having my hair done this week honestly super excited it's been i think when i called up it was last july that i actually had anything done with my hair so it is honestly wow needed so super excited for that so I just need to pop in there I then need to pop home um because you can probably tell by the backdrop I'm at my parents house at the minute Leo was at his dad's um this weekend so I actually stayed here last night and we watched the second part of Bridgerton that's been released and honestly it's so good let me know in the comments below if you have watched it I think we have one or two episodes left to watch tonight. Um, I could have stayed up and kept watching it because I was so into it. But you can probably hear by my voice, I'm still suffering with my cold. Honestly, it's so on and off. Some days I feel a lot better than other days. It kind of, I feel like I'm really suffering with it again. Um, so, yeah, we decided that we would turn it off because I was kind of like, yeah, feeling super tired. And you know when you want to watch it like properly and you don't want to miss bits by falling asleep. So we've got one or two episodes left to watch of that tonight. So super excited. Um, so I'm going to go to the hairdresser. So go to mine because I've actually got a parcel that's been delivered. Because in two weekends time, I have my friend's hen do. And we've got lots of fun things planned. Um, and the theme is Ibiza kind of festival clothing and I don't own anything like that in my wardrobe so I actually went on ASOS last night and I've ordered this kind of like marble print dress have absolutely no idea if it's going to suit me or if it's going to fit um, but yeah I've ordered that but if it stays dry it's been miserable honestly outside it's been heavy rain all morning but the sun is now shining and my phone says it's meant to be dry and windy the rest of the day so if it does stay dry i wouldn't mind going around a few shops to see if i can find some kind of other possibilities of outfits for the hindu um and then i can kind of try on a few and see what kind of suits me best see what i like but yeah super hard to find it and honestly loads of the clothing shops that i looked at online all of this kind of clothing and lots of the summer bits were either sold out or had gone into the sale and they didn't have my size. Um, but yeah, I don't want to leave it really last minute. So I want to try and get some options. So I might have a look around some shops, I might pop to New Look or something like that. So I just thought I would pick up the camera and vlog today. So let's go to the hairdressers and get my skin test done. Um, and then we will see where we go from there. So just been and had my skin test done and just come home. I'll show you can see that. So it is now dry, but it's super windy. And honestly, she's so funny. She doesn't like the wind. She pulls the funniest face. You're probably not going to do it now, but she was literally just going down the path here. And every time it like blew, she was just like, oh my gosh. Um, so I don't think she's going to be out there very long. Loving the garden though. I still haven't got round to the second coat on all of this because the weather has just honestly been miserable. Um, hi Cassie. But yeah, feels so much nicer out here. Here she comes. I don't know if you can see her. She doesn't like the wind. She pulls the funniest faces. Look at her. She's like, what is this? she's gonna come back in you don't like it do you cat she's so funny bless her hey <laughs> so my parcel has just come from asos so i thought i would open it up and share it with you like i said it's not my kind of normal thing um but yeah we'll see what it's like so it's this kind of like marbly pattern um, and I love the colours of it and I just thought it would fit the theme. Um, it is a short dress though, so I'm just hoping it's not too short for my liking. And then it's just got the strappy kind of top and it crosses over at the back. But I thought something like this I'm more likely to kind of wear again because I do love a dress. Um, and then it's got like this material on top but then you do have this underneath. 
Um, so yeah, we'll see what it's like on. I'm hoping it's not going to be too kind of fitted. I had to go for an 18 because I didn't do a 20. Um, but yeah, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I may try it on a bit later and see what it's like. So just in the car now, and I'm going to pop to the shops. I need to pop into M&S first um, just to do a return on some things that I picked up. One of them had a button missing and was too small so I need to go and take that back um luckily this little kind of like retail park is less than 10 minutes from my house so it's really convenient and there's like a Marks and Spencers there's a new look and next boots there's a big Asda um so it's really handy to have on the doorstep so just gonna go there now, I'm gonna pop into Marks and Spencers. I also need to get some fuel in the car. But I'll probably do that on the way out. Um, and then I may go into New Look and Next for I know, like I said earlier, to see if I can find anything for the Hindu or just to see what they have in. Um, so if there's anything nice, then I will try and take some clips in there. It is a Saturday though, so I imagine it's probably gonna be really busy at this retail park, especially because the weather's not been overly great i think more people tend to go around the shops when it's not so kind of warm outside don't they um may also go into the asda i'm really tempted i know loads of people i keep seeing have been reading the book a court i think it's called a court of thorns and roses please let me know in the comments if you have read any of the series i feel like this book is just everywhere at the minute and it's not the type of book that I would normally go for. I'm not like really, really into reading, but I do enjoy reading um, a book every now and then. I just find it quite relaxing. It's a bit of like me time, isn't it? Um, so I would like to find a new book to read and I tend to go for like summery kind of holiday, romance, like easy reading books. Um, but I've heard so much about this series and I've also heard loads of people say like it's not my type book normally like the, like the genre that I'd go for but I'm really enjoying it it's really gripping so let me know in the comments if you have read any of the series I know Asda have it and I think it's five pound or it's on offer for like you can get two books for nine so I'm tempted to go in and have a look. But do you know when you're like, do I pick it up? Do I give it a go or not? So yeah, comment below if you have read it. We're nearly at the retail park now, so I'm, I'm gonna end this little clip and I will see you in the shops if it, there is anything kind of um, good in there. So just parked up and I knew it'd be busy, but oh my gosh, it is super busy. I am parked so far back in the car park. Luckily there's a massive car park, so you can kind of always get a space. But I don't think I've ever been parked this far back. It's just so busy.
So back in the car now, you may hear the wind. It is so windy outside, but the sun has been out the whole time. I'm actually really hot and bothered now. Um, so I did a return in Marks and Spencers, then I actually saw some things that I liked. So I did a little um, try on in there, tried on a few things. I took a few clips. Um, I would have inserted them before you seen this. We then went, I then went to um, Next, tried on a few things in there also and then into new look so i feel like everything i tried on wasn't really what i need for the hendu um but it's all things that i thought oh do you know what i'm gonna see what that looks like on me um but yeah i'm absolutely knackered now i'm hot and bothered some of these changing rooms honestly are so small trying to get dresses over your head i felt like my arms were banging either side especially the new look ones mns and next weren't too bad but yeah the new look changing rooms honestly were so small um, so yeah, really hot and bothered now. Then I popped into Asda quickly and picked up a Father's Day card. And then I am so hungry now also. So I picked up this. This is a mild and crisp apple, grapes and cheese. Um, so yeah, just something to quickly snack on in the car. Um, I think it's about three o'clock now um, and I haven't had anything since breakfast. Um, and I really fancied this because it's got the cheese in it. Love a bit of apple and cheese. And then I also picked up a little chocolate treat. Picked up a little Kit Kat. Um, and I've got a bottle of water. So I'm going to have that now and then head back. Um, and probably just chill for the rest of the afternoon before dinner. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy coming around the shops with me. I feel like I haven't been very productive because I haven't picked up anything for the Hindu, any other outfits um, or anything. But maybe when I get back, I'm going to my mum and dad's for dinner. So maybe when I get there, I'll try on the outfit from ASOS and show you. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% convinced it's going to suit me. So we will see. I'm going to get going now. I'm going to open up the windows because I am super hot. Um, even though it's really windy, it's still really warm. It's like really muggy. Um, but as soon as I open up the windows, it's so windy that you can't hear me. Um, but yeah, let's get going. I need to stop and get fuel on the way. Um, so I'll speak to you when I get back to my mum's. So just going to start making some dinner and we've decided we're going to have some snacky bits tonight. So really fancy some garlic mushrooms. So I'm going to do some garlic mushrooms to start and then I'm just going to make a board with different kind of meats, cheeses, bread and all that lot. I might put a quiche on there. Just a really snacky dinner tonight. So I'll show you it when it's all ready. And then after dinner, I will try on the dress for the Hindu and see what that is like. So here is our dinner. So we've got some nice garlic mushrooms, which are my favorite. I can smell them, they smell so good. Then just got a mixture of meat, some cheeses. I've got some quiche, some bread. So yeah, looking forward to this little snacky dinner tonight. So I actually just got back in the car and I'm heading back over to Mark's and Next because we were just sat looking and I was showing you a few of the um, outfits that I tried on earlier and the Rolling Stones top in Next we thought would actually look really nice with this metallic skirt that I saw in m and the other day. Um, so I'm going to go over there now and pick them up and then come back, try on that outfit together um, and also try on the one from ASOS. At least you've got a choice of that. Yeah, you? and see what we think. I feel like it's two kind of different Looks. types of outfits, isn't it? Yeah. Um, see what I feel more comfortable in. Um, and then you guys can help me decide between the two. So I'm going to pop over there now and pick that up. Apologies if my nose is really shiny. <laughs> it is covered in Vicks so I can breathe. Um, but yeah, let's get going. So back in the car now, um, I picked up a metallic skirt from Marks and Spencers with the Rolling Stones top from Next, which I tried on in my little try on clips earlier, but with the denim skirt. Um, Cause I think they might look quite cool together. So I'm gonna try that on when I get back along with the dress. Um, so I will insert clips now for you to see. Let me know which one out of the two you prefer. So it's kind of like an Ibiza festival type gig. Um, so yeah, let me know which outfit you prefer on me.
Um, also in Asda, I picked up this. And this is for part of my dad's Father's Day present. It's a motor home book. We were looking for a van book. He wants to convert a van, doesn't he? Yeah. His dream is to convert a van into a motor home. So I thought it'd be really good to find a, a magazine or something that you can look at on like van conversions, but obviously they didn't have anything. Um, so I thought the motor home yeah, one, was kind yeah. of, yeah. but you know, these are so expensive. So this one was 5 75 which just seems crazy. Like it's not a massive book, but some of them were like ten pounds mm -hmm. or more. Full of as well, aren't so they? yeah, crazy. Mm. Um, but I thought that'd be something that you here will enjoy looking through. Um, so I am going to end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed coming around the shops with me. I feel like I've spent a lot of time in the shops today. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice just pottering around and having a look. Um, so yeah, comment below on the two outfits that you would have seen and let me know which you think will be best for the Ibiza festival type Hindu. Um, it is an outdoor gig um, and I will be wearing them with probably like high top trainers or something like that or maybe sandals depending on the weather. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy spending the day with me and I will see you again in my next one. Goodbye. Bye.